Hey everyone, the Jose Fruity back again with another deck review, and this is the Carnival Death Heads. The front of the box, as you can see, has a skull with some crossbones, there's a star underneath that, and it says Carnival Death Heads Armor Edition. The bottom, 100% plastic playing cards, which is what they are, and then there's a bunch of stars here underneath Carnival. And from what I understand, these two bones here are actually a male bone and a female bone from the femur. Alright, so that's kind of interesting. On this side, more skulls and crossbones that says brought to you by carnivalinc.com. On the other side, playing cards made in Spain by Fournier. And more skulls and crossbones. And yes, they're not bicycle cards. At the top, it says open at your own risk. That's pretty interesting. I'll take the risk though. The bottom it says carnivalink.com. There's another skull and crossbone with some symbols. It says artwork by Sam Hales, dosprod.com. And there's a barcode with an 8 of diamonds reveal. And the back, you see the back design, which is pretty cool. It's got a lot of detail to it. It's got skulls and crossbones. It's got like a sun here in the middle, where it appears to be. And the flap is a standard Fournier flap. It says Fournier and there's some trademark information. I right, pull out the cards. And I lost the cards. Well, the box anyways. The cards. There is this ad card. It says Carnival Death Heads Armor Edition on one side. The other side. A whole bunch of skulls. There's some stuff about Sam Hale and his website at Carnival Inc. And surprisingly, no reveals. The cards are standard Fournier cards. As you can see, they have a square in the center with a cream color in it and the pips inside of that. And it's jumbo indexed as well. Court cards, just like the any other Fournier deck, and they got colored faces and hands, which is kind of cool. The Jokers look like this. They're similar to standard Fournier Jokers, except that it's a skull with a gesture type hat on it, and he's got blood dripping from his face. You got skull and crossbones in the two corners, and it says Joker on the bottom. And you got two of those. Jesus, the spades is right here as well. There's the other Joker, and again, no reveals or anything like that. I don't know what that was all about. Jesus, the spades, fairly plain, doesn't say anything on it. But they replaced the cream color in the box with a bunch of artwork, similar to what you see on the back of the cards, and then. You just got a grayish colored spade pip with a worn out look to it. It looks like it's dirty or whatever. And there's a skull and crossbones on it, of course. The cards, like I said, they are plastic. 100% plastic. They spread alright. They don't fan that great, though. They're supposed to fan. They were. They promised us the, the big blind media promised that they would fan. Well, Good luck with that. They don't fan that well at all. Not very good at all for that. Other than that, they're pretty good. They're very durable because they're plastic. You can wash them, clean them. They'll last you a long, long time. And I like them. And the back design, like I said, it's pretty cool. Skulls and crossbones and all sorts of other artwork. <sighs> Excuse me. Now, I know a lot of you may not like plastic decks, and I'm not a huge fan myself, but if you do want to have a complete carnival collection, I would suggest picking these up. On a side note, Carnival just had a deck rejected by USPC 
they come up with some kind of design, it was deemed too satanic. Apparently the Joker had a devil on it, and the devil was, you know, given a finger, and all sorts of other stuff, and I guess they just felt it was too satanic, so. USB-C doesn't want anything to do with it. I don't know if they can find someone else to do it, or if they're just going to drop it. They're kind of cool, though. I think the deck is actually a deck with red cards, red faces. That would be something new from Carnival, and I'd love to see that. In fact, maybe that's a, uh, an idea for the next Bicycle Brimstone deck as well. Make it with red faces instead of black faces. Just an idea, good kind of thing, I think. Speaking of red decks, Dan and Dave apparently might be released, or apparently coming out with one day here of the Dragon deck, which is coming out apparently on Chinese New Year's on the 23rd of January, so I'll definitely be looking for that. Anyway, that's what I got for you this time for this review. I'll see you next time with more reviews.